Great. Hi, everybody. This is the Central Business Architecture Committee meeting on April 30th, 2024. It is a continuation from the April 23rd, 2024 meeting um, about the exterior lift and door entry by Five Star Builders at 41 Strong Ave in Northampton, MAP ID 32C-50. Um, before we get started, is there anyone uh, from the public that has anything to talk about other than this particular project? Okay. Hearing none, then I um, open it up to the applicant to uh, present the project because there are potentially changes. Is that correct, Carolyn? Yes, yeah, so the um, the continuation from <clears throat> the last meeting was twofold. One is we had the Zoom glitch, and then the other is the applicant. Um, you all had asked for the applicant to look at the potential for adding glazing to the structure. And so they were going to look at that. So I don't know who um, wants to screen share, but I can allow that if someone wants to tell me who that person will be, I'd be happy to do it. Oh, Carolyn, this is Kevin from Five Star Building Corp. We were hoping that our designer was uh, hopping on. I'm not sure what happened. I haven't been able to reach him and I'm out of the office. Is there anybody that can share what we had submitted? I'm currently uh, remote here. Um, I didn't see any updated information unless I missed it in an email. Um, so I yeah, can't Holly, put it on. Holly sent both the rendering and a new plot plan. The plot plan essentially just showed um, okay. the ball had removed and then there was a rendering. Let me just pull it up. See what I can find. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, hold on just a second, sorry about that. Carolyn, I can email that to you. Okay, let me just see if it's in the in the um, links, and um, then I'll let you know if we need to do that. Uh, um. Okay. Oh. Um. This must be it from yesterday, I guess. Okay. Um, okay, this is a, okay, yes. So I do have it. Um, so I can screen share that. Um, can everybody see the screen? Yes. Okay. So that's the rendered portion, and above that, it looks like it's the detail. <sighs> Correct. So, so essentially, the changes we added the, the vision panels as requested. There's a vision panel that would allow you to see if you were seated in a wheelchair, looking out towards the alleyway, and another one. Honestly, I feel it's more for cosmetics, but facing the street if you're seated. You most likely won't be able to see out of that, but uh, and the bollard is depicted there. Um, that is all inside the property line, as as you can see by the 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 line shown, and it's also everything is inside of the easement as well. So, and you know, there wasn't any major significant ones; those were the changes we were asked, and and, and so we updated that. Um, Um, is there is there also a plan view? Um, I can zoom in here. Oh, 
up here. So um, I don't know if this was changed in this location. And then there is, um, let me just go up, uh, see what's on this other sheet. And this um, here says laminated glass. I don't know if you can see that laminated glass lift to be painted black by fabricator and those look like the two changes. Um, and then concrete filled ballers with covers, final location to be determined within the property line. And then here's the other side of that. So just let me know if you want to zoom out or scroll up to the uh, other view. Down below, it showed the plan view dimensions. I was wondering what those dimensions were of the of the lift itself. Um, yeah, right here. <clears throat> yeah. Um, there you gotta zoom in. Okay, can you see that? Um, 66 and 1 8. That's the pit, it says. Property line is right here, right to the corner. Um, and then 56 and 1 8 across this. Kevin, I'm wondering, was it done by a surveyor? How do you know that that's the property line? It has been, yep. And uh, Holmberg has been out there and actually placed the uh, corner pin for us as well and, and uh, did the survey. So we're certain of the line. And, and I this was, is, oh, go ahead. I just say, so this plan view looks like there's two bollards, one tucked, yep, there, and one tucked right inside the property line. Yep, that's what these are, these are labeled. <clears throat> Can you also go to that elevation view? So is the laminated glass, it looks like it's about four feet off the ground and as wide as the, um, the lift is? And in, in the part. rendering, it looks significantly smaller. Can you just confirm what the size of it is? In that view, it looks more rectangular, whereas the elevation view, it's just, there's more glass is what I'm saying. Um, we, until we have this approved, we do not have all the lift shop drawings. So we do know that the four foot is good, you know, exactly how it dimensions out on the top half. I, I can't be certain. Uh, but we do know we can have glass at the at the four foot mark. So there might be a little variance there. But, you know, in order to release full shop drawings to get exact details, we have to commit to this. And without this approval, I just I don't see how that's a, you know, just not a financial risk we could take right now. Sure. I guess I was going to say it seems like more glass would be better. So if that's the maximum you can have, that seems preferable. I mean, um, that would be interesting. It's, it's, it's basically, it, it really doesn't leave us any, any wiggle room on there. It starts at four foot and it will fill that panel up to the roof line. So how that dimensions out, you know, it, it's going to depend on the final rise, which also has to be determined. But in order to do that, we need to do a little bit of destruction on the side of the building temporarily just to determine the exact heights. Um, so until we have this in a permanent hand, I, I can't, we're, we're kind of at a standstill to get much more detail. Sure. And in this elevation, the the door, the other elevation adjacent, the door looks like it's a like a three quarter glass door. Is that approximately what it would be? That is. That's about the upper panel as well. Yep. Okay. And it, can you go back down to the rendering, Carolyn? Okay. So the rendering isn't is not quite accurate to what the elevations are, but the elevations are more accurate than the rendering. Is that true? Yeah. Based on the info we have from Garaventa, you know, I think that the the elevations are fairly dimensioned properly. I think, you know, the 
the rendering was more something we're, we're trying to do for, um, you know, just kind of give you a, a, a visual. It's not meant to be you know, a, a submittal or construction documents. <laughs> no. Uh, th yeah, that's helpful. It's just helpful to know that which one is more accurate. De definitely the plan view, um, you know, the, the drawing, the, the rendering is just more of a visual depiction and Robert who designed this, you know, typically to get much more of a, a detailed rendering, we'd end up having to sub out to a third party. This is about the extent we could get to, uh, with, with what he's able to do with the information we have from Garaventa. Great. Thank you. Are there other, is there other feedback from, um, the board on this revised option? Um, I'd like to ask, is there any reason why the glass has to start at four feet up? I think it would look a lot better if that whole um, street facing panel were made out of glass. And uh, that That is not an option they have. I believe it's more to do with durability and the construction of the door. It's steel from the four foot down. I think you run a great risk of somebody bumping that with a wheelchair or something like that below the four foot. And there's a real chance that glass would wouldn't necessarily shatter all, 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 shatter all over because it's laminated safety, but you, you could very well crack that below four foot. I'm, I'm guessing too, Joe, that the, when the lift is in the up position at the first floor level, that if it went all the way down to the ground, you would be seeing the mechanics below the, the lift. That's good. So it sounds like it's potential. It's, well, from what you're saying, Kevin, it's structurally required. Based on my conversation with Garaventa, it was a kind of a structural piece. They didn't offer it. It's also a, a real durability and safety concern. Like I said, if you happen to swing around or you have a power chair or anything and you catch that wrong, there's a good chance you're going to crack the glass on the lower half or the metal panel, you're just going to dent it. So it's it's not a legal requirement to have the glass starting at four feet up. It's just something you feel would be um, safer for the or or for maintenance well, purposes. Well, your event is really the only reputable one. I'm, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Elevator permit. So it's beyond an archway. Actually, yeah, Kevin, I, I can't hear you anymore. Off. Oh, you're on mute, Kevin. Yeah, you're Are still... You still there. Sorry about that. Cut out for a minute there. So I, I didn't hear the answer to, to my question about whether this is a, a legal code requirement or whether it's, it's just something you think would be um, better for maintenance to have the glass start at four feet up. Um, it, well, it's really neither. It's, it's Garaventa is the only manufacturer we have that can attain an elevator permit um, in mass that I'm aware of that has a good durable product. And it's just, it's not, op it, it's nothing that they offer. Um, you know, they're the ones that feel that that is not an option. So your your vendor is telling you that it has to be four feet, start at four feet up. Correct. They, you, they okay. do not offer glass below the four foot level. Okay. So I, and, and then um, if the lift, if it were, if they did offer glass the whole way up and the lift were in the up position, you wouldn't be able to see through the glass anyway, because you'd be seeing the lift is that right that's correct you'd be seeing the workings of the of the lift and potentially the bottom of the pit it, you know, it certainly be a little unsightly i'm curious whether my fellow um, members feel that the glass improves or detracts from the appearance of the um, of the uh, structure because I'm not sure how I feel about it actually. 
I, I think it improves the look of the structure, makes it a little bit more inviting and perhaps um, for someone using it, they would, I hope, feel safer being able to see into what they're getting into and know that someone well, the door, is not. The door, glass, the door glass would do that, but the glass facing the street isn't, um, uh, is, and I think the door glass is really important for the safety of, and for uh, somebody in a wheelchair feeling safe going into the into the um, structure, uh, so they could see what they were getting when the door opened. But um, uh, I don't know. It's I don't I don't think it's a big improvement from the aesthetics uh, uh, side of things. <clears throat> I think we were hoping the window would be the the glass would help people see cars moving, and it seems like maybe they would be able to do that in the the highest position of the lift. But then once the lift is lowered, that's that's no longer relevant anymore. Um, but so that that is a little disappointing. But I think um, that aesthetically, the the glass does help. I have a question, just I want to make sure the committee understands. Is there, um, and I maybe I'll scroll down to the notes for the glass, the laminated glass, is that, does that have any opacity to it or is it um, translucent? That, that would be clear. Be clear. Let me ask another question. Suppose it would it be, could you go like scroll up so we can see the photograph better? So the, see the whole, and do you think it might be a good idea to um, have the front of it, have the lines of the stone and brickwork go across the front of this thing so that it would be, um, I, maybe it would not stick out quite so much. Uh, I I don't it, you know it, it it there's no way that we're ever going to think that this was part of the original building, um, and I I don't think adding striping would engage it more into the building. In fact, I I like that it's now black and it relates to the black ironwork and the black awnings. It becomes an a, it becomes an attachment to the building like the other elements are. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't, uh, <laughs> I would, well, uh, there's, I'm sorry. There's it's, no, there's it's no still, making it's still, part of building. It's still very unattractive. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, this is Vulcan. Um, unfortunately, there is no other way to do this. Um, you know, this is the. You know, this is these guys. Yeah. Rental Lift is one of the top top of their line lift company. I'm sure that maybe Rendern is not doing it justice, but uh, uh, it's a very hardcore enclosed uh, lift um, that's going to fairly look professional once it's against the building and. For us, from um, use it, usability and durability point of view, is very important, so that whoever is using this, um, it actually works. Uh, that's our number one priority, and uh, obviously cosmetic, of course. Um, but unfortunately, under the circumstances, this is the only option we have. And I, I would agree with Eileen about you know it kind of matches to Roth Iron that we have that black. Um, well perhaps, uh, you know, uh, have them color coded somehow to so that it kind of blends in. Um, my point of view as an owner and as this is happening to the building is I actually like the fact that it doesn't blend into the building because you want this to stick out. You want people to know where the accessibility is. You want, um, you know, uh, some guidance um, 
towards uh, anybody that needs to use this. I, I think that's a great thing. Uh, I think, um, you know, when there's a traffic going in and out, this being there, I think that would, you know, take attention and they'll slow down. And um, I think it's a good thing that it's doesn't belong to building that it actually takes attention. That's just my point of view. But logistically, it's, uh, you know, the usability part is the most important for us. And um, and this literally solves the problem that this building had since 18, what, 93? And this is going to stay here for hopefully the life of this building. Um, you know, we want to put some product out there that's very durable, that's going to weather throughout times. And, um, you know, we can clean it, we can maintain it. Um, I mean, if, if you folks like, like the gloss uh, part, I personally think that the door should be glossed and the side should be um, steel just for maintenance purposes. But I would 100% agree if you want to go with, um, you know, some, um, uh, you know, light and air inside the um, elevator. Absolutely. I would agree with you on that. I'm not going to... Um, and go against it, but uh, for durability purposes and for uh, uh, you know, I'm, when I when I look at this, I look at it for years to come, right? What's going to look like five years down the road? What's going to look like ten years down the road? Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of graffiti that we need to repaint. There's going to be um, you know a lot of weathering that's going to happen. So um, for those purposes, I want something that's rock solid, that's always going to function and work. We can service it, clean it, maintain it so on and so forth. So that's, to me, is number one priority. And um, and this has to be functional at all times. So, um, and from the, um, you know, from Geraventa, the way uh, it was described to us, it's what needs to go out in this, um, in this building is pretty, pretty solid, pretty much a miniature interior elevator, honestly. It's all enclosed and everything. So, um, I think we have the right product here. Uh, like I said, my uh, choice is uh, just the gloss in the front of the, uh, the at the door so they can see um, the side should stay stainless. Uh, I'm sorry, not stainless, uh, steel with uh, black, uh, just so we can keep it clean and maintain it for years to come. So if there's any graffiti or damage or whatever, we can fix it right away and it'll be easy to fix so we can keep it neat so it looks neat and it blends in with the right Roth iron. Uh, but again, if you folks decide they want to go with the glass uh, plaque C, that's that's fine also. Um, but I think we have a solution here. Um, but I, I just don't know what other options we have at this point. Are, are we ready for motions or is there, because I would make a motion if, uh, if we're ready for that. Um, I think uh, the, the before a motion is made, I would like to see the the shop drawings um, just to confirm the glazing and where it's located, since we don't have that specific information. But, but I'm saying as just I'm not saying that that should hold up voting to approve it. I'm saying that should just be a potentially a condition. Do you want to have a minimum glazing for that side? Um, or you just are saying you want to, what would you be confirming? I guess I would say with reviewing the shop drawings before they go to building permit. Um, I would like to see the glazing maximized on the side. And so because the rendering and the elevation are slightly different um just like to see what what the final drawing is if i could jump in again i i actually uh, if the applicant prefers to have a solid metal facing the street i would propose the motion that way because i i don't think the glazing um improves it that much as long as there's glazing in the door window which is i think is more important for safety concerns but you know if everybody else on the committee would rather you know if the, if everybody else feels that the glazing 
on the side, on the street facing side is Im important for the appearance, then I would go along with that. But I, I would, I don't, it's going to be an ugly anomaly, no matter what we do. And we might as well let the applicant do it the way he prefers. Uh, look, um, I've been there for 16, 17 years now. And, um, uh, you know, when, uh, unfortunately, things happen to buildings, you know, we constantly clean and paint and maintain our building. So it doesn't look that bad. But um, um, it, on if there is a glass, for sure, they're going to sticker things, scratch it, write on it. Um, I just don't know how to paint that. Right, like. At first, when you first put, if that was less, less, imagine for a second that that whole thing was a pure gloss, right? It, it's when you first put that in there, it's going to look beautiful, right? It, it's it's going to look awesome. It's going to look beautiful. Year later, it's you're going to look at a garbage. I promise you that. Five years later, I don't know what it's going to look like because the the sun is going to hit. It's going to fade away. It's it's going to collect dust in there. I mean, no matter what we clean it, I have a. Um, you know, uh, problem with that with my windows right now. I mean, we constantly clean them, constantly maintain them, and I'm not running away from the work at all. But when that's outside, um, out of my hands, um, uh, I know it's going to get destroyed. That's the only reason why I say, you know, the front, I get it because you need to have some visit visibility as, you know, as they're, you know, um, opening the door, uh, but the sides, um, just for maintaining purposes um, so that it looks as it came the first day. Um, steel would be the greatest option. Um, I don't think there's a price difference, honestly. Plexi might be even cheaper. Uh, Kevin can confirm that uh, uh, because, uh, you know, steel is more expensive. I'm actually going for a little bit more expensive uh, route here, but I know... I can grab a black paint that matches that. And if somebody writes on them, somebody scratches, somebody dents, we can pick, fix it. So that it never looks like, um, uh, I don't know, cross street pub. That's just my personal experience. Honestly, but you know, I'll go with whatever you folks decide. So if I understand, you're saying that people put, um stickers and things on your existing windows now? I leave every day. I we clean uh, writings, stickers. Um, Maybe I'm exaggerating by saying every day, but uh, uh, every week, constantly, we're uh, either power washing or cleaning or um, I literally uh, painted the hatchway doors couple of weeks ago and somebody went and wrote their names again. Hey, so it's just a constant metal that I that we've been dealing with. I mean look at you don't you don't have to take my word. Look at Pearl Street Club. Yeah. Look at the windows. I mean that's what it I mean obviously I'm there at that time. I'm not gonna let it run like that where it's gonna look like that of course not. But it's gonna it's gonna come to a point after a year later, there's so so much you can do on a glass. You know, there's so much wipes you can do. There's so much cleanliness you can do. Um, if people are keep writing on it, people are keep putting stickers on them. Um, you're going to try to scrape it off or you're going to try to, um, you know, clean that off. And it, it's just going to weather. And in two years, like I said, I'm thinking five years, 10 years life of this building. And, um, this is a solid accessibility we're putting here. That's going to service this building for years to come. Let's do it right. And, uh, you know, that let's make it, um, let, you know, put something here that I can actually have power to maintain it so that it, it looks pretty de decent at all times. Because if somebody goes and writes on them, which I know they're going to, um, it's just a paint job. That's it. Um, so it's, but it, uh, wouldn't, it wouldn't be different maintenance on that glass as it would the glass on the building. Or are you saying it is different maintenance? It, it is because this is a plexiglass. It's a little better. It's not like a regular glass. So for okay. safety reasons, it's it's a so it's like uh, if you try to it, it's gonna weather down in in time. You know it's 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 you know thick plastic. I don't know if anybody remembers. I used to have a Bishop's Lounge. Um, I did these like plexiglasses so that um, I don't know if you if everybody remembers mm -hmm. here that so 
so that the, the drinks won't fall to the first floor. Does anybody remember that? I do. Okay, so imagine that plexiglass. When I first put it in, it looked beautiful. But after five years later, how it, how it looked like? That's exactly what it's going to look like over there years later. Okay, I was misunderstanding. I thought it was glass, like the glass in the windows. But you're saying it's plexiglass, yeah. like a plastic. <laughs> Right. I mean, it's like a, uh, uh, you know, very heavy duty one, but uh, yes, for safety reasons. So if there's any kind of accidents, um, you know, the glass just doesn't break and fall on somebody that's inside. Right. So it's, it's kind of like a safety uh, reasons that they're doing that for. I mean, if this is, remember, everybody needs to understand, like when you, when people go to Garavanta website, they see all kind of these beautiful uh, lifts and everything, but that doesn't necessarily fit here because this is the outside lift, not inside. Inside, you can put regular glass, that's fine. Um, but, you know, when it, when you're outside, it's a different, you know, weather you're dealing with, different um, uh, different environment you're dealing with. And, um, you know, there's traffic and God forbid, who knows what, right? So they're building it all based on all these um, reasons. And um, so, this is what literally they're telling us that we need to do over there for, you know, protecting the, actually not for our sake, protecting the person inside the lift. And I'm not going to argue with them. They're, they're pretty much, all, you know, uh, orders of elevators for uh, handicap accessibility. So, I, uh, and, I, and, it, and it makes sense. No, I'm very familiar with the product. Um, I just thought it was laminated glass as it was labeled, not plexiglass. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a very, I mean, a stick is durable, but um, I mean, again, if you, if you folks want to decide to go that route, that's fine. I just hate to see two years down the road. Um, you know, that just looks very weather. Versus the steel. It's never going to look weathered because we have the power to just literally go out there, half hour, looks brand new. That's, that's the only yeah. argument I have here. Sure. Understood. Just wanted to understand the material so it was clear what your argument was uh, to the board. So given that it's not actually glass, it's plexiglass, so a, a plastic material, not a glass material. How does the board feel ab about the glazing on this side of the lift? I, I like the fact that there's daylight and I'm sure it's like a, like a hockey rink, plexiglass almost. Yes. So I think it's going to, yeah. So I think it's going to be durable. That's the, uh, that, you know, I keep looking online. That's the only product that will sell to you or Massachusetts licenses or what was, what was the comment on that? Um, on the Plexi? Um, on the Garavan, Garavanta lift. Uh, it, it was a safety reasons. Mm-hmm. So that the glass doesn't shatter and because it's out, you know, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, we didn't ask the details of why, um, you know, I'm not sure if maybe a car passing by and, you know, some sort of rock pops out and hits the glass and shatters the glass all of a sudden there's somebody using the elevator at the same time and, you know, cuts their neck, uh, you know, I'm making up reasons here, but um, it could happen, right? So, um, no, I, I don't think uh, you definitely need to have safety glazing. There's just many different kinds of safety glazing. Laminated glass is an option. Plexiglass is an option. Um, so I think that's just what we're trying to understand. There's no argument about the requirement for having safety glazing in this location where there are multiple doors and a lift and that's a required. If you're having glazing in this lift, it's required by code. So that's not the question. I think the question is about the selection of material and whether it's laminated glass or plexiglass and whether the board feels that the glass adds 
to uh, the aesthetics or not? I mean, the, the drawing says laminated glass, which I, I feel like does what Melissa says, it lets daylight in, it lets people see out. Um, aesthetically, might not be a huge um, add or contribution to that elevation, but the fact that it would provide some visibility um, long term seems like a good a good idea. Um, plexiglass, you know that that wouldn't be great. I I would like to think since we're seeing laminated glass labeled here on this updated drawing that, that that's available and that that could be provided. Yeah, so it sounds like, like three, three, three uh, folks on the board sound in favor of that glazing. Is there someone who would like to make a motion? Uh, may, let me just say something real quick before you guys make a motion, just so I'm on the same page, because the comment was made that submittals reviewed prior to the building permit. That, that would be the case. The building department wouldn't review the submittals they're going to issue the permit essentially based on your you're kind of the last box to check um have no problem sending in the submittals but we need the permit prior to us obtaining the submittals so i just want to be sure that you know a motion isn't made in such a manner that the building department reads it and says well we're not doing this until the board reviews submittals and approves those or or because that that would be out of order i, I have to get the building permit do some uh, construction there to obtain the final heights between the final grade and the interior heights, then we'll get some middles. Understood. Is it, is it I would to vote on glazing and then we'll, you know, you know, have this pass today and well, we'll so pretty I, much go to, go to Garavanta and be like, okay, well, uh, you know, what is your options for gloss? And, and then we can certainly submit this back to you, to Carolyn, and then uh, you guys can discuss which one you like, and that's what we'll put. I mean, it's uh... well, I'm, I, I am willing. I'm willing to defer to my three colleagues on the glazing issue. I think if the what the re, is the the rendering the line drawing is that what or is the rendering the photograph? The photograph. The rendering is the photograph, and the and what, line drawings are elevations. Right. So I think we can rely on the elevation to, um, uh, since the applicant says that's the more accurate thing, I'm, I, I would like to make a motion that we um, uh, approve the applicant's proposal as uh, submitted with this revision that we got today. Is, is there a second? I second that motion. So I just ask for clarification. Does that mean laminated glass, not plexiglass, correct? Right. Okay. It says laminated glass on it. Right. I, I just want to be clear. So are we voting yes with um, glazing? I think you first have to close That's the, the hearing before you make a motion. Sorry oh, about that. Sorry. I should have clarified. Um, sorry. Um, well, actually, uh, I think we're supposed to invite the public to make any comments before I close. Is that correct, mm -hmm. Carolyn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so are there any members of the public that uh, would like to comment? Okay. Hearing none, um, could I get a motion There's to- There's hand up, Ilan. Jeremy. Oh, sorry. Thank sorry. you, Jeremy. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I just um, just wanted to, just to speak in strong support of, of the lift. And um, and I do think that the having the glass at, on, on the facing the street is, is good um, uh, because it adds more light inside there. And uh, just so people know, I'm speaking as a person who will be using the lift because um, I am a wheelchair user and um, and um, so I you know I just want to say that you know I, I realize that 
uh, members of the board have said called this ugly and unattractive, but um, inaccessibility is actually really unattractive. Um, and so accessibility is very attractive. So um, I, I took offense to that comment, um, but I appreciate that the, the, the board is approving this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Doves. Is there any other comments from the public? Okay, hearing none, uh, could I get a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Okay, uh, any further discussion? Nope. From the board? And then can I ask for a motion from a board member? So, Joe, you, you're, I, I guess. Well, I moved to close the hearing. Okay. Do we have to do roll call for that, Carolyn? Um, yeah. So I heard um, Joe move to close, and then I think Melissa was a second. Um, yes. So, yeah. Okay. So I can do the roll call if you'd like, um, Melissa, on closing the hearing. Okay. Joe? Mm -hmm. Yes, to close the hearing. Okay. Yes. Um, Emily? Yes. Okay. And Alan? Yes. Okay. Great. Um, so now I'll put Joe. forth my motion again. I, I, I would like to make a motion that we approve the revised plans as submitted uh, tonight um, for this project. I second that motion. And Carolyn, do you want to do roll call? Sure. Um, Melissa? Yes. Uh, Joe? Yes. Emily? Yes. And Elon? Yes. Is that Anima? Okay. Great. So thank you for coming back and uh, making these adjustments. I think, um, are there any other items on the agenda for tonight, Carolyn? Um, I do, did not have anything else, no. Okay. Uh, do we, can you confirm when the next meeting is? Um, yes, so next Tuesday, you have one, uh, one more meeting, so three in a row here. Um, and that one is also at six o'clock. Um, believe and I'm going to again double check that link to make sure there wasn't a problem with that um, and um, there's just one item on that agenda okay great thank you thanks um okay. is there a motion could I get a motion to adjourn the meeting I make a motion so to move. adjourn uh. <laughs> I'll take a shot on that one <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and do we need to do roll call on that? Um, sure. Melissa? Aye. Yeah, Joe? Yes. Um, Emily? Yes. And Ella? Yes. Great. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>